John here from RipeWave Audio, and today we're going to talk about the best experience when watching sports, and with the upcoming AFC and NFC football championships, and ultimately the Super Bowl coming, what is the best way to watch this? Now, you're gathering around your friends and your family to watch the big game, and you just bought yourself an 8K TV and an 8K capable uh, receiver or processor with Atmos and say, this is going to be great. I'm going to have the best way to watch uh, football in my house and everybody's going to be happy with the experience only to find out that you're watching it in standard definition and two-channel sound. How does that happen? So looking back, we have have a long history now, starting back, I think, around 2017 with uh, BT Sports um, handling the their football, the British football or American soccer, uh, in 4K Atmos in 2017. And we had events like the Tokyo Olympics. That was Atmos in 5.1.2 with 4K HDR. And we had the U.S. Open Golf has been broadcast in 5.1.4 at most with, with 4K. Even college football this year has been broadcast in 4K with Atmos 5.1.4. And ESPN and other services have broadcast this and support 5.1.4. So what about these upcoming championship games, or any game in the future, wherever you are in the world, what you're watching uh, uh, there? Are you be able to get this in the ultimate experience? And I think the baseline today is everybody wants 4K HDR in Atmos when watching these live sporting events. And I think you've got to look at it all the way down the line here. It starts with the acquisition. What cameras are they using to film the event? Are these 4K cameras or 1080p cameras? Then you have the broadcast services themselves, and they can either uh, down convert or up convert uh, from what they acquire in. So they may film in 4K, but downscale it to standard definition before broadcasting it. Or we've seen the other happen where they start with 1080p and they up convert to 4K before broadcasting. The next part of the chain then is how you receive it in your home. What is your streaming device or the tuner that you're using? Uh, it could be an external device like we're using uh, Apple TV or it could be something built into your television itself. And actually we're using the television for over-the-air broadcast, this has a built-in um, ATSC tuner that's in this television, so we can bring in it, bring in television that way as well. Um, and what those devices support, if you don't have a 4K uh, tuner or streaming device, then you're not going to get 4K. And then it comes down to settings. And this is where it can even get further complicated. You've got all the things set up. You've got the event being recorded and broadcast in 4K Atmos. You've got the right streaming device on your end. You're aligned with the streaming support service that supports this or whatever the broadcast company is. And you don't have the settings right. And you, lo and behold, when you look at either your processor or your on-screen display of your TV, or on your tablet with the, the web app for um, the device you're, you're using. And it says surround, but then you look at the fine details, and it says PCM 2.0. This means, even though it says surround, I'm only getting two-channel sound. I'm not getting Atmos. And even, I think the surround is a bit confusing because you see surround, it's like, oh, I'm going to get at least the rear speakers coming on, but, and the, and the center chip, you know, you think you're going to get at least 5.1 and you're getting 2.0. So look at the fine detail there. 
uh, when you go to, to watch this. Now, with the upcoming games, what's left? We have the AFC and the NFC championships that will be this weekend. The AFC game is being hosted by CBS, the Central Broadcasting System. There is no mention on what quality they're going to be broadcasting it. They don't talk about 4K. They don't talk about Atmos. They don't talk about 5.1 surround. I'm thinking I'm not going to know until I turn it on and watch it. And that very well may be the case. Now, when it comes to the NFC Championship and the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 57, those are going to be broadcast by Fox Sports. And Fox is committed for the championships. Every game that they're hosting is going to be 4K HDR. They're using 42 cameras to film each of these. The cameras themselves are 1080p that Fox Sports is going to use. They are going to then up-convert to 4K. So it's not native 4K acquisition, but at least as it's leaving their um, control booths, it's coming out at 4K HDR. They are making no mention of the sound quality that's being uh, broadcast here. Now, I do know that I watched the Cincinnati-Buffalo game the other weekend, and I got 5.1 surround. That wasn't at most, but I got 5.1 surround, at least the way I was watching it. So I'm assuming that we'll at least get 5.1. I am don't think we're going to get at most because they would have been advertising it. So I think what we can expect with the Fox-hosted games is going to be 4K uh, HDR with 5.1 surround. That's as it's being broadcast. Now, they've aligned themselves with certain channels. Now, uh, if you're using your streaming services or your cable services, you know, the, what, what we'll be doing this in 4K for Fox channels is YouTube TV with their 4K add-on. So UT, YouTube TV alone is not going to give you 4K. You need their 4K add-on. Uh, FUBU, um, however you say it, TV, they will give you 4K. Altus Optima, Comcast Infinity, Cox Contour TV, Direct TV, their satellite service, the uh, Dish Network, and Verizon Fios. Those are the ones we know will be doing um, 4K H HD uh, on the video side. We also know some of the, st the streaming services that won't be giving you 4K. So even though Fox is going to make the 4K count content available, services like um, the DirecTV streaming service, not the satellite, but the streaming one, Hulu plus Live TV, and Sling, you will not get 4K content uh, for the big game, the Super Bowl, and the NFC Championship. So if you, that's important to you, you want to make sure you get a service that supports that. And then there's over-the-air broadcast uh, there. And what I often find is I get better sound quality through over-the-air than from my cable provider. And so with the game last week that I watched, and I was watching it through the Xfinity streaming app. Now, I don't have their set-top box. Maybe I would have got a little bit more with their set-top box. But with their streaming service, it came up exactly like this. It said surround PCM 2.0. I was only getting two channels. When I switched to over-the-air broadcast, I got the surround sound. So that, um, that is a free service. So that's wonderful. You can get better quality sound through over-the-air broadcast than you can with a paid service. So these are some of the things you have to be careful of. That brings you to the streaming services. And so you got to pick the right ones that are going to give you the best quality there. 
and then the um, streaming devices as we talked about and then it comes down to settings and you have to be really careful if you're using uh, features like ARC or eARC there is, could be settings in your TV uh, usually if it's set to PCM you're only getting two channel out of that if you set it to uh, Dolby or digital output from your TV this is where you get the multi-channel out uh, that could be extremely important to getting that right sound to your audio video receiver or processor uh, if you're bringing it directly into your processor this then it probably will automatically decode it right but play around with the modes of your your processor and receiver uh, if I put take my Emotiva RMC1 and I put it to auto it usually finds the best quality uh, uh, mode uh, for what it's receiving. So there are my tips for watching the game, um, whether it's the upcoming NFL games, the AFC, NFC Championship, the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 57, or whatever else you watch, your favorite sporting event, hockey, basketball, soccer, cricket, you name it. Um, these are the things to check. I hope you found this useful. If you have tips and tricks for, for watching the game, now the other one I would suggest is you, if you have access to multiple services, if you have both a cable service and over-the-air antenna, try it both ways. Switch back and forth and say, hey, you might act, unfortunately, you might find that with one you're getting 4K video but two-channel audio and another way around you're getting... 5.1 audio, but you're getting standard definition on the, the video. And over the air versus streaming, you're going to find over the air is more, you may be a play ahead with over the air versus streaming. There's a delay. It could be 30 second delay on your streaming service. So another tip there. If you have tips and comments on what I said, please put those in. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Consider joining our Patreon channel at www.patreon.com slash RipeWave. You can always consider a one-time donation. We love those. Uh, any support is welcome. And regardless, you can always hit that bell notification so you're informed when our next video is posted. Until the next time, keep evolving your audio experience.